What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you are staying cool wherever you are. It is so hot. Like we haven't had 90 degree days. And y'all know I live in the northeast part of the country of the US. <laughs> but we haven't had 90 degree days in September and I don't even know how long. But anyway, uh, speaking of hot, okay, and starting to cool things off, unfortunately, we have Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner, their relationship is cooling off and they are headed toward divorce. So sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ that Joe has had his people contact and, con and consult with at least two LA area divorce lawyers. And he is on the cusp of filing divorce um, documents to end his marriage to Sophie. Sources say that the couple have had serious problems for at least the past six months. And we're told over the last three months that Joe has been caring for their two young children pretty much all of the time. Even as his band was touring, we're told that Joe currently has both kids as the group plays around the U.S. So on the surface, it seems that there were no outward signs of trouble, which is good, okay, because, you know, some of these divorces can get messy and really public. Um, you know, Joe, Joe and Sophie have attended events together, so that's good. However, in recent weeks, Joe has been um, seen not wearing his wedding ring. Ouch. And recently, they sold their Miami mansion. Um, they bought the place just a year ago and have sold it fairly quickly for a decent profit. So Joe and so um, Sophie first linked up in 2016, and they got engaged a year later. In 2019, they were married. Vegas style. And they were living the family life ever since. They quickly welcomed their first child in 2020 and then another child in 2022. So a lot has happened for them in the past four years. Professionally, Joe and Sophie have both been busy. Mostly Joe Jonas though. He's gone on tour with his brothers recently and he's scheduled to perform through the winter. So Sophie's done some, you know, TV and movie stuffs in recent years, but not nearly as active as she was on her Game of Thrones days. But they're both, you know, really still young. Joe is just 34 and Sophie is only 27. So we reached out to the reps and, to and Joe for Joe and Sophie, of course, you know, there's no comment or word back. But we wish them, of course, the best when they're going their separate ways. And here's the thing, right? I think that um, Sophie, she got married really young, right? Like she's only just now 27. So she pretty much spent her 20s, you know, being a wife and a mother. And back in like the 50s and 60s, that was considered normal. But especially since she was such a starlet on Game of Thrones, she might have felt like she had to put her career on the back burner to support her husband. And that might be a reason why, you know, Joe has the two children now, because I feel like if you have have kids before you know who you are as a woman, then I've seen a lot of my friends and family members struggle in their later years. Because like I said, she's only just now 27. She's still in her 20s, right? So. She's, you know, been trying to work and, you know, in the middle of that, support her husband, you know, these two children, of course, living through COVID during lockdowns in the 2020, that was stressful for everyone. But I can only imagine they first linked up in 2016. That was seven years ago. So she was only 20 years old, right? And then that means that, you know, Joe, he would have been 27 at that time. So in terms of maturity and where they were in their lives, seven years is, you know, it's a big deal. Um, yeah, it's, of course, it's not like a, an entire generation and there's, it's not a huge age gap, but it's enough of a maturity level to where, you know, I was a completely different person in my early 20s than I was in my late 20s. And of course, from my late 20s to my mid 30s, right? So I feel like Sophie is probably still trying to figure out 
who she is, you know, becoming a young mother. And I'm glad that Joe has given her the time that he has the resources, right? In order to have help with the two small children while he's touring with his brothers and giving her some time and some space to just try to mature, come into her own as a woman, trying to figure out, you know, who she is, perhaps even after the actor strike is over, she can find work and begin her career again and really, you know, find who she is. I do think it's unfortunate that, you know, they're ending their marriage. I feel like with them both working, maybe they can um, find a counselor and, and recon you know, have some kind of reconciliation. They can reconcile or if it's better, sometimes it is better to separate and find other people who are better suited for you. Because again, like I said, people change throughout their lifetimes. You're not gonna be the same person you were seven years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. So I really wish them all the best. I'm sure that they'll both be fine. You know, they're both young and famous and rich and all that good stuff. So <laughs> I'm sure that both of them will, you know, land on their feet fall in love again. And I just really hope that Sophie, you know, she isn't resentful of the fact that she was such a young mother and wife. I hope that, you know, the children are having a great time, you know, with their father touring around the world. And I'm sure, like I said, Joe has the money and the resources to, if he doesn't have a 24 hour caregiver, you know, I'm sure he has family or other people who are shower, you know, showering the kids with love and support and um, yeah, hopefully they can have a um, a divorce that's mutually respectful and not messy because like I said, some of them are really, really messy. Looking at you, Kim and Croy. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful holiday weekend. Please drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner's divorce or their upcoming divorce, I should say. And please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and share, turn the notification bell on. I'm gonna be working hard this weekend, trying to crank out some videos and keep you guys up to date on what's going on because I really get busy throughout the week. So this weekend is perfect and I get a chance to, you know, get caught up on all the stories they have, that I might have missed. So if there is something specific that you guys want me to talk about um, or that you want commentary on, drop down in the comments and leave that in the comment section as well. All right. I'll talk with you later. Aces, take care. Bye.